Alleluia, tu mshangilie. Alleluia, na asifiwe. Benye uhai vimwimbie. Benye uhai vimsifu Yesu. Alleluia, tu mshangilie. Alleluia, na asifiwe. Benye uhai. The faces of the members of the eight congregations of Osukuko Lutheran Parish show both the wear of hard lives and the joy that comes from sharing in Christian life. In these rugged reaches of Tanzania's Mount Meru, people gather in a common belief in Jesus Christ and a common struggle for daily life. And for some 2,000 Lutherans who call it home, it's a very special place. I can say, Osopuko, people are lovely people. It's a field which is ripe for the harvest. The people of Suvuko are at the point where they need the word of God. Whenever the word of God, there are church services at the eight congregations of Osuvuko Parish. There are youth groups, prayer circles, women's groups, and Sunday school at each congregation. And there are 15 choirs singing in both the national language, Swahili, and the local language, Kimasai, to reach out to people in the way that only music can. To, teach, to use music, especially in this generation, which like entertainments, many youth are not coming to the church, as a means to carry the word of God. Martin Luther is quoted saying music is the living voice of the gospel. It's the vehicle that carries the word of God. Many youths like music. And due to that, we, we, we use music to reach the youth. Tanzania is a country in East Africa, about the size of Texas and Oklahoma combined. Arusha is located in northern Tanzania at the 4,500 foot line on Mount Meru. Nearby are tourist attractions such as Mount Kilimanjaro, Ngorongoro Crater, and the Serengeti Plains. Arusha itself is a bustling town of more than 350,000 people, a hub of tourism and gemstone trading. But Osuhuko, five miles north of town and about 1,000 feet higher in altitude, has an easier pace. Its eight congregations are Kidinga, Eutulele, Irkisongo, Kyoga, Olonya Sapuk, Olmelil, Oloigero, and Shiboro. Several of the congregations are building new structures. Since buildings take several years, services are held in incomplete buildings. 150 to 200 congregants at Shiboro all combine to put only about $6 in the offering basket every week. About 90% are women who traditionally have very little economic power. They mostly live in mud and cow dung houses. They are also trying to build. Olonia Sapuk's colonial era building was damaged by a series of earthquakes in 2007. They are rebuilding a modern structure. This elder was his village's first Christian, bringing the word of God here in 1938. Irkisongo, limited by the small size of its plot, decided to build a new church around the old church. Iltulele congregation is working on completing their church building. <laughs> Oh yeah, was he learning?
Several issues challenge the church in Osofuko. It is a tribally homogenous area with a strong Maasai tradition. Certain aspects of the culture have to be broken down in order for the word of God to take root. A lot of seminars are needed, a gospel campaigns are needed, a lot of teachings so that Christ may be known to the full. Tanzania is one of the poorest countries on earth, and so funding is always a problem. The parish employs about 15 people, and the workers make less than $35 a month each. Also, almost all of Osofuko's congregations are currently building, which puts a major strain on the financial ability of the parish. But the biggest challenge is education. Uh, background of Maasai have been moving from one place to another, but Osofuko now are the Maasai who have settled at one place, and they've got small uh, farms, so they are peasants. They, what they get from their farms is very small to enable them to educate their children. So most of the people are failing uh, to take their, their children to school. <laughs> Having a congregation like First Lutheran Church is our sister church. It's a great privilege to us first to learn how other Christians from Christians from other places worship, express their faith in God, and serve the Lord. My expectation is that this partnership which was formerly found by my former pastor, will grow to the point where one day we will shake hands with our friends at First Lutheran Church. Oh, we have